Hello, Capricorns. I'm going to be looking into what your person is feeling, thinking, wanting, just what's going on with that situation. All right, what is going on with this situation? What do we need to know? What do, what do we not already know? What, what updates are there here with your love life? Capricorns that are drawn to this video. Okay. Ooh. Hello. Chaos Grove. Success. Love. So forth upside down. <laughs> Reminder. Oath. Fulfillment. So the last reading we got, I... I picked up that you had new love coming in and you had somebody that just loved all the things about you that other people were intimidated by or other people just didn't understand. Like this person that's either just come in or coming in just loves your creativity and your uniqueness. They love that, that weird free spirit that you have. They just, they love you. They know who you are. They understand you. It's like you guys are just, you have like this fun care like a uh, free-spirited like just loving relationship it's really good it's like they just they see your creativity they see just how intelligent and how like just special you are um and they really admire you you know they know that they're not going to find someone like you and anyone else like they know how different you are they know that that energy they see in you is just it's so creative and just unique and so different and they know that most people aren't like that you know it's like you're free spirited you're adventurous you're open minded you know and they they know that they're not ever going to find that with somebody else and i you know i was getting the sense of like epiphanies coming in too like new love and you having epiphanies and just all this this new exciting energy coming in for you basically with chaos and grove right over here I feel like there are some chaotic changes in your life that needed to happen in order to bring about this relationship. So, and if you're going through chaos right now, it could just be saying, like, there's a reason for it. It's not just random chaos. It's it's this storm that's coming in to basically clear out all the things that are no longer serving you. So it's like if you've been in a toxic relationship or a toxic, like, family members, toxic friends, things that are holding you back, um, it's like this chaos is coming in to I think because you weren't letting go of it so this chaos is coming in to force you to let go of it to like clear it out of your life to make room for this new love that's coming in or that's just come in um it could be like the loss of a job loss of um it could be like a new living situation like maybe you're being forced to move out but like maybe the new place that you move into like the, like a new town or a new area it's like that's where you're gonna meet this person, this new person that's going to love you for who you are. Um, it's that kind of energy. It's like it's blessing in disguise energy, basically. It's like you either recently or you're in the middle of this chaos where you're just like, why is all this happening? Why did I lose my job? Why am I having to move to a new location? Why is why this? Why that? Well, you're, if you're losing your job, it's because it was a stagnant, dead-end job that wasn't going anywhere and your guides want more for you. If you're losing a relationship, it's because it was a toxic relationship where the person didn't understand you and didn't accept you for who you are, and your guides want more for you. They want to clear your energy up so you can be your true self and you can have friends and have a lover that you can be your true self with, you know? It's like this, this purging process that's just releasing everything that's not serving you and releasing everything that isn't you, isn't for you, is, that's things that you don't want, you know? things that your soul doesn't want your soul is in control here so like consciously mentally you might be kind of freaking out like i need that job or i need this look like i need this apartment i don't want to move like but like your soul is kind of your soul and your guides are in control of this like astrally telepathically they're just kind of taking control and like forcing these life changes like like on some soul level it's like you see the higher picture you see the you have like this other perspective where you're like okay this has to happen like you i think you have some at least a little bit of awareness that it's a blessing in disguise, but you're going to realize it more and more as time goes on. 
so if you're going through all these life changes and it just feels like chaotic and crazy, it's it's actually it's they're all blessings in disguise. It's actually for the best. It's really good. You're just you're clearing out all the toxic and all the stagnant energy to make room for this new love in your life and to make room for maybe like new career, new hobbies, just new friends, just like this whole, it's like this transition that you're in. It's just like you're making room for all this new energy that's coming in. And a lot of times when you're, when you have this, it's like a death and rebirth process that you're kind of going through. A lot of people have to go through that. It's like you have to purge out all the blocks, everything inside you and everything around you, your environment, everything that's blocking you from this abundance, this true love, this success, um, all those things have to be purged out. They have to be cleared out to make room for all this new good energy that's coming in. So it's it's beautiful. It's really good. This chaos is really, really positive. The grove represents healing. So it's like, yeah, you are going to have to heal a little bit. It is kind of scary. It is, it's a new, you know, you're being pushed to step out of your comfort zone. It's new energy. So it's, it's not going to, I mean, it is going to, it is going to, it is going to be intimidating at times. It's going to be you're kind of in limbo at, to some extent right now. So I think there's going to be times when you're like, what the fuck's going on with my life? Where am I? What am I doing? Why is all this happening? But again, it's it's your your higher self is doing this. Your soul and your spirit guides are making these changes happen for you. Because I think that you didn't... I think it's happening in such a chaotic way because you wouldn't let go otherwise. Like if it was like a toxic person or like a stagnant nine to five job or like a living situation with like a bad roommate or a living situation where it's like you just had been in the same apartment or same house for years and you wanted something new, but you didn't have the, you weren't like, you didn't have the energy to like actually move. It's things like that where it's like you were holding on to this stagnant energy. We're holding on to this toxic energy. And I think your guides tried to slowly push you over the months or over the years to let go of that energy, to let go of those toxic people. But it's like you wouldn't, you kept holding on. And so now it's like this storm, this chaotic storm coming in to just force all those things out of your life. But it's good. It's what, again, it's what your soul wants. So it's not like you're being forced. It's like conscious. It's like your soul wants it. Like you want it. You just might not be fully conscious of that, if that makes any sense. It's like, like for moving, moving, for example, it's like, let's just say you just got an eviction notice or you just, um, you know, your roommate is saying she has to move here, she has to move out or something's going on where you're like moving. And this is just one example. It could be, you know, it could be leaving a job. It could be leaving a relationship. It could be leaving a whole, a number of things, probably a bunch of different things that you're, you're transitioning away from and moving on to new energy. But, um, let's just say, for example, you're in this like stagnant living situation and you know, you're, you're, and you've been unhappy. And part of you was like, I really would like to move, but it's too much stress right now, or I can't afford it, or it's just, it's too crazy. Um, and then like you get an eviction notice or your, your roommate says they're moving out and you have to move out too, or something like that. And you're like, Oh my God, I don't want this. This is crazy. This is too much right now. But you have to remember, you do want it. Like you did want it. You just didn't know how to make it happen and you didn't have the energy to make it happen. So your soul and your guides are just kind of taking over and just making that happen for you since you wouldn't consciously let go and move forward. You know what I mean? Like sometimes our guides will force us to step out of our comfort zones and go into this new energy if we're not doing it on our own consciously. So you got to realize when a situation is stagnant and when it's dead and over and you got to like purge and cleanse and do the uncrossing work and move on to this new energy, you know, like road opening spell work would be really good for you right now too. Uh, especially on the Lion's Gate tomorrow on the 8th, that would be great. Um, so yeah, Grove Healing, you know, it is, it is, it is scary right now, but just, just try to see the bigger picture. Try to, try to realize these are blessings in disguise. You do have success. You do have true love coming in you, or you have true love here or you have it coming in soon. Um, sometimes also I've noticed that like if you're in the same environment for too long, it's hard to manifest love and money and abundance. Like unless you're really happy with that environment. Like I've my apartment is my sanctuary, so I feel like I can manifest here because I have all my god and goddess altars everywhere and like I sage all the time and I light herbs and I I have all this good energy here, so I do feel like I can manifest here. But like if I were to go to like Mount Shasta or I were to travel somewhere, I feel like I would manifest even more just being in a new environment because it's like your mind and your spirit just open up when you're in this new environment. So for a lot of you, it could be like a situation like that where it's like 
you know, you got to get out of the stagnant energy. Sometimes you do have to go on vacation or even like move to a new location, even a new city, a new state, just moving somewhere um, to like have that new energy and to make your new home, your sanctuary, your safe space. And then it's like when you're in that, you, you know, you have to feel the energy of your environment. Does it feel like, do you wake up and feel like stagnant and depressed? Like, like just bored with the environment? Like just, ugh, like I've been in this room for the past few years. This is, I'm just, just boring. Like you don't feel at home there anymore, you know? But you notice if you like go on vacation or you go to like a friend's house or whatever and if like their room is decorated nice, it's like you just feel this like open, happy, spiritual energy. And that's the kind of energy that just manifests abundance in your life. So if you can't actually move locations, maybe just consider redecorating. Like if you're if you're bored with your, your environment, do something, whether it's traveling or it's moving or it's just redecorating to make your home, your, your sanctuary, your safe, sacred space. You got to do something to get the energy flowing again. Um, could look into feng shui too for some of you, but for a lot of you, it's just like, it's just a matter of like decorating with like your style, with the things that make you happy. You know what I mean? It's like your home needs to feel like your home. And if it doesn't feel like your home, you need to take the whatever steps you need to take to make it feel like your home again. And that's the kind of energy that's going to get you into a state where you're manifesting abundance and love and happiness in your life. Um, but yeah, you do have success. You do have love. You do have this new beautiful energy coming in. You might have these insecurities at time and these, these fears, this kind of desire to self-sabotage. But I feel like this person is going to remind you of your worth. They're going to they're gonna see things in you that you don't even see in yourself. They're going to see like your creative, beautiful side. They're going to see things in you that sometimes you doubt. It's like if you have like business ideas or you have like just think like certain like creativities and sometimes you're like oh that's a stupid idea or that's why would I you know like sometimes you like have this self-doubt like oh that's kind of a dumb idea or that might not work or maybe that's too out there I don't know if anyone would resonate with it this person is going to resonate with it and they're going to remind you like you're creative you're unique you're not meant to be like everybody else and they love that about you they love that you're so different you know what I mean so keep being different keep being your true self you know, this person is going to, when you lose yourself, it's like this person is like here to kind of remind you of your self-worth, to remind you, they're going to see the things in you that you don't always see in yourself. They're going to remind you of your creativity and your intelligence and your, just who you are. You know what I mean? Like they're going to keep you on your toes a little bit, but in a good way. Um, and I see them wanting to commit. I really do get this commitment energy from them with oath and fulfillment. It's like, I see them making promises to you. I see them making, maybe like making a love offer, like if you guys are already together, it could be like moving in or marriage or like going on vacation together, just taking the next step in the relationship. I do feel like they know that their fulfillment is with you. Like they do really want to impress you and they want to be there for you and they want to support you and they feel like they're really lucky to have you. Um, any final messages here? Deceit, fire, wishing. Okay. Yeah, I feel like an ex might come back around and they might try to like deceive you and pull you back in. But you're in this fire energy where you're just like, nah, I'm the high priestess of fire now or I'm the high priest of fire. I'm courageous and passionate and strong and I'm able to be myself with this person in a way that I was never able to be myself with you. And so their deceit is not going to work anymore because you're going to be in this fire energy. You're going to just be in this passionate, courageous, strong energy, just loving your life again. And they're going to be wishing they had another chance with you, but they're not going to have it because you got this other person who's way more of a man or way more of a woman than that than the ex was. You know, it's kind of how it happens too. It's like when you actually finally get in touch with your true self and you're just completely being your true unapologetic self and you're also with somebody who's just like your your other half like your soulmate or your twin flame and they're just like getting you and you're just living your life and things are just flowing and you're just adventurous and open-minded and happy and creative and you just have this creative flow I feel like a lot of times that's when you know all these exes come back around when it's like you're just doing you finally you're like you're on a roll, you know what I mean? Like you're starting your business, you're you're doing your artwork, you're creative, you're passionate, you're successful, you're happy finally. 
you're with somebody else, it's like that's when like all your exes feel that energy and they're like, oh shit, I'm really losing her or I'm really losing him. And then they want to pull you back. But once they have you, they don't do anything, you know, they just don't want to be alone and they don't want to lose you. But but yeah, it's like I don't think you're even going to want the exes when they come back. If you're kind of hung up on an ex right now, when they when they come back around, I think you're going to be so happy with this other person and you're going to be so amazed by how much this person just loves you and puts you first that you're not even going to consider the ex. You're going to be like, I'm so glad that our relationship ended. I'm so glad I did not spend my life with you. I'm so glad I didn't end up with you. Like it hurt at first when we broke up and I didn't understand it at the time, but it was such a blessing in disguise. Like I'm so glad that I got away from you so I could manifest my true love, my warrior here. Um, so yeah, you do have new love either here or coming in in the near future. Just keep stepping out of your comfort zone. Keep being your creative self. And again, remember this person loves all the things about you that other people were intimidated by, all the things that, that pe other people didn't understand this person loves about you. So be as creative and raw and weird as you are, as you want to be, as artistic as you are. That's what's going to like, this person's going to see it and be like, oh my God, that's amazing. I don't know anybody else that's like her. It's like, it's kind of like this energy of like wearing um, like a cloak or like Renaissance clothing in public. And like, you're kind of embarrassed. Like nobody else is wearing this. Like, I feel weird, but then you're going to like go to the store and there's going to be like that one guy that like sees you and is like, Oh my God, I love that. That's so creative. That's so that person's so create courageous and brave for being true to her style, even if nobody else is, and they're going to notice you, you know what I mean? So screw everybody that like, doesn't resonate with that. You just want this one person who resonates with that. That's your person, you know? So anyway, that's coming in for you guys. If this resonates, um, you can book a private reading for me below my, my contact info. My email is below. Um, I can look more in depth into the situation, into this relationship, into the ex, whatever you want me to look into, just go ahead and reach out. Um, and if this, this resonates, please subscribe too. Thank you.